Hi all, well, this is a second lesson about how to write your own programs using OpenGL in Java. Uh, so uh, let's uh, create a new package. New package. Let or ra and i dot open gel dot lesson two zero two. Uh, so uh, let's see that in a previous lesson uh, we created two classes. One of them is a 3D graphic engine, and its name is Apple Root. It takes care uh, about uh, uh, all uh, needed operations um, like uh, in, uh, initialization, like uh, reshape, like uh, uh, key bindings, like uh, uh, Initializing of gel objects and create window and others. So all we what we need is to write a, a code for two abstract methods, uh, which are register, OK actions, and is display. So you see that uh, 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 we have only few lines in both of these methods. One of them creates uh, four mm, shortcuts, one for uh, rotation uh, along of x-axis uh, uh, and uh, another two for rotations uh, along uh, z uh, y-axis. So let's uh, begin with the second tutorial. In this tutorial we uh, will copy all the code which we created in a previous lesson to the new one. So let's create a paper root class without void main and let's create a, a paper class with void main. I said with void main. No, okay, we will copy it. So let's open a paper Java and copy and paste it to a new lesson with name uh, 02 and all contents of a paper root to a uh, Prepared lesson zero two. So okay, you see that all is valid. We can compile, we can rotate along x and y and y. So what I don't like here is that uh, in our program uh, we use the call uh, calls to gel vertex three f. You know that in a very complicated environment uh, where we have a lot of objects which can consist uh, of a lot of points, a lot of vertexes, um, if we will go with this way, we need to call uh, each time gel vertex 3 This is a very hard work, so uh, if we need to uh, simplify um, our life, uh, all that we need is to write a new function, a new method in, a, uh, in our 3D engine, which will do all this hard work for us. Uh, so let's do it. Let's create this method. Uh, it will be protected void uh, draw feature quads uh, free float. Why is quads? Because uh, in uh, our main application we use gel quads. Uh, okay, each polygon consists of uh, four points. So let's copy paste all of this code from descendant class to the root class. Um, okay, and uh, let's delete this. Uh, one parameter will be float array of array figure. This is our figure. Let's use a cycle here for int v equals to null v less than figure uh, length increment 3. And here we will draw a vertex each point. So v, oh sorry, figure v x figure v y and figure v z so let's make some checks if feature is null or figure first point length 
uh, not equals to three, then we will return. So our this way our feature uh, has been created the wrong way, and we uh, cannot do anything. So uh, we will return. So not z it's two. So x, y, and z. Okay. So now we can use this draw feature method. We will use draw feature and pass this feature. What is a feature? Feature is a new object. So let's move this to the top. It will be better for understanding. Okay, we display and after that we use the register. And after that we make. So uh, let's create a feature. What is a feature? Mm, feature is a new private float array of array feature uh, which will be what it will be we don't need we don't need this we need this to be changed to an array declaration this will be an array element okay and here we need to change to Bracket comma Okay, so we created a feature and it consists of four points. Uh, first of all, I'm has a coordinates minus one, minus one, and one, x, y, and z coordinates, and other uh, three points also has a uh, uh, specified values. So we can use now this feature, we can pass it to our method draw feature, feature and it will do all hard work for us. So it doesn't matter how many vertexes you have here. So you can copy and paste here uh, another vertexes. So object can consist of uh, hundreds of points and all of what you need is to load them from file or to receive them from a server and to pass this feature to the draw feature class. And this uh, method will uh, uh, create uh, uh, points. Uh, it use, uses a cycle inside it uh, so it will do all hard work for us so let's check how it works okay it works fine okay so create now another feature so this was a feature quads for example let's rename it and let's create another feature let's copy paste this and then let's create a feature triangle so here we will use another coordinates 0 1 0 this is a y a coordinate top y this is a minus x uh, minus y and uh, 0 for z and here we will use uh, y uh, 1 and here we will use uh, minus y and then we here we will zero so triangle is a uh, feature which consists of three points okay mm, and now what we need to do is to create another method so we will empower our engine with another method uh, it will use uh, gl to engines to engines Okay, and its name will be three angels. We can use this method. So let's comment this one and use figure three angel. Okay, and let's see how it works. You see that we have three angel now, and we can rotate it. Okay. So we can rotate it. Okay. But what I don't like here is that we need to, to uh, simplify our code because you uh, see that here's a duplication of the code. So uh, let's create a common method, uh, which name will be draw feature 3 f So let's copy paste one of them and draw feature 3f. So here we will pass one 
pass one additional parameter, which is mode, and this mode will be used here in G in a gel begin. So and we can use this draw feature method here and simplify our code. Oh my god, so uh, let's copy past this, copy paste, and use this draw feature feature. And also let's use it here. Triangle. Trend oh sorry, we need to use gel too, of course. So what has changed? So we simplified our code because we use uh, now one common method which name is uh, uh, private void draw feature 3f instead of uh, two uh, duplicated code. Uh, so we use uh, this draw feature 3f in our draw feature quads and triangles. Uh, so we simply call it uh, with uh, two parameters, uh, gel quads feature and gel triangles feature. So now we simplified and make it, made it better. Okay, so we see that now our, our engine can uh, create a quads and can create a triangles. And this is and does not matter how many uh, points, how many vertexes you um, specified here. So you can uh, use, for example, comma and uh, specify some other vertexes here, like um, minus one or zero and up, and our engine will draw all of them. You see that uh, all what we need is to create objects somewhere or load them and then uh, create a display and uh, uh, a method and uh, code for register all key actions. So what, which key actions are present in our <clears throat> applications and what we need to do when we are pressing, for example, up or down, left and right. <clears throat> so you see that the code for our application is simple because our engine is very powerful. Uh, so in uh, further lessons, uh, we uh, will uh, create a new methods in our engine, and our 3D uh, engine we uh, will be able to work with the textures, uh, with lighting, uh, and uh, some other additional features like blending and others. So thank you. Uh, for watching, and you can contact me via uh, these two emails, leorandi.mailru and le gleorandi.gmail.com. Or you can visit leorandi.com site. Uh, so uh, I will uh, in future publish uh, some uh, uh, code examples uh, on this site and uh, with some text and with some source code. So thank you very much and bye.